Today, a fairly substantial update to Descript, so pay attention because there's a lot in here that will affect you. The first thing that's different is the Descript Labs. So I've shown this before on this channel, but if I go into my settings and I go to general, right here there's this section called Labs. And this is where Descript put beta features. So you could opt into beta features and they've just temporarily disabled that because there's no beta features in the, in the works right now. And for a while, between the transition of the latest version of Descript with the Underlord, you could opt into the older version, but they've gotten rid of that. So everyone is officially on the latest version of Descript with the Underlord. Moving on, the layout has changed. So if I go into a project, like let me open up this one right here, and I click on a layer, you have to have a layer selected. Right here, this section used to be called layout. It is now called size and position. So it's purely a naming thing. The options in here have not changed. You still have corner rounding, you have the angle, and then you have height width and X and Y coordinates. So that has not changed, just the name of it to size and position. Moving on, number three, regenerate is now out of beta. So regenerate is a feature where I could select a word or a couple words. I could go to replace and then I can hit regenerate. And what that's gonna do is regenerate those words using an AI speaker. So if I stumbled over my words or maybe I wasn't saying something loud enough, I could regenerate it and it would make that those words sound a lot better. That feature is now out of beta, meaning it's gonna be a lot more stable and it's gonna work a lot better. Moving on, the drive. So if I go back to my Descript drive and I come down to my workspace, when I'm in my project view, I don't have the option to do bulk actions, but if I come down to my workspace, I have these little check boxes next to the projects. I don't have those check boxes next to the folders, only the projects and only in the workspace view. And if I click on one, I can rename it from here. I can duplicate that project. I can move it to a different folder somewhere in my workspace. I can copy a link directly to that project or I can grant project access to somebody. So that's what just one selected. If I select multiple, like I select two or three, first of all, you can see it's highlighted in blue, the ones I have selected. And then the only thing I can do in bulk is move. I can move multiple projects at once into another folder. They're, they say that they're working on the ability to bulk delete and bulk do other options, but we're not there yet. And lastly, the plans. The plans got a major update yesterday. So if you come to descriptmastery.com slash pricing, this is the page you'll see. And there are now four plans. Before there was three, there was free, which there still is. There was creator, which is now called hobbyist. There was pro, which is now called creator, kind of confusing. And there's business, which is the highest tier at 12, 24 and $40 a month respectively. Now, if you were already a Descript member before yesterday, before July 2nd, 2024, then nothing will change for you. But if you're a new Descript member as of yesterday, then you're gonna, the features you're gonna get is what's laid out on this page. If you're an existing member, you're, if you're on the pro plan, for example, and you look at your settings, it's now gonna say creator, and then in parentheses, legacy. So you're locked into the, all the options that you had before these changes. Mostly things are, are pretty similar, like on this plan, which was the creator plan, now the hobbyist, you get 10 hours transcription per month, 30 on the mid-tier and 40 on the business. You can only export at 1080p if you're on the hobbyist plan, but you can do 4K on creator and above. And here's the big one. You're limited now to 20 uses of AI, including the filler word removal, studio sound, et cetera. With the creator and above, you get unlimited uses. Until now, Descript has been extremely generous with unlimited uses of all of their AI products, all of their AI features. And then you're also limited to 30 minutes per month of AI speech. So that is creating text to speech from your voice. And then you get 120 on the creator and 300 on the business. Scrolling down, I'm just gonna point out a couple other key things here. With the free, with for transcription hours, you get one hour per month on the free plan, 10 hours on hobbyist, 30 on creator, and 40 on business. And this has to relate to the time of the files that you transcribe. So if you transcribe a one hour audio or video file, 
it's going to count as one hour against your transcription hours per month, that is. If you have a podcast where you have three different tracks and each track is an hour long, that's going to count as three hours against your monthly allocation. So just be aware of that. A lot of people aren't familiar with how that works. And then we already talked about the AI limitations. You get five uses per month on free or five uses, period. It doesn't even say per month. 20 uses per month on hobbyists and then unlimited on creator and above. Moving on, you can't use eye contact or translate captions on the hobbyist or below. Text-to-speech, we talked about this, 30 minutes per month, 120 and 300 respectively. Recording hours, this has to do with Squadcast, so you can do two, 10 hours of recording per month on hobbyist, 30 hours per month on creator, and 40 hours per month on business. Templates, you cannot use templates if you're on the free plan, so be aware of that. I have free templates available on my website, and people sometimes try to download those when they're on the free plan, so be aware of that. With stock media, you're limited to the first five search results and first 12 search results on free and hobbyist, respectively, whereas you get unlimited. So this is the videos, the sound, all that kind of stuff. You get unlimited with creator and business. Watermark free export, only one per month on free, unlimited on everything else. You're limited to 720p on free, 1080p on hobbyist, and then 4K on the other two. And then this next one is huge for me. So you get five gigabytes of storage on free, 100 gigabytes on hobbyist, one terabyte on creator, and five terabytes on business. I think if you're going to upgrade to business, it's probably going to be for this reason. You're probably going to be creating a ton of content, and you're going to need that massive, massive amount of cloud storage. So that's pretty much it with the pricing. Check it out. See what makes the most sense for you. I always recommend people start as low as they think they can get away with. And on the monthly plan, once you decide that you're going to stick with Descript, that it's the tool for you, and you get a sense of how much you're going to use it, you can always upgrade from there and bump up to the annual. That was version 93. If you want to go deeper on learning Descript, check out the Descript Mastery course, link below.